What's going on boys and girls, it's Montage Gaming here again and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be picking up where we left off in the last episode, still on that early game grind. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the episode and I hope you guys enjoy. So, found this 145 Anki while we were flying around farming, thought we might as well tame it up. We don't have a Quetz yet unfortunately, uh, but at least we'll have an Anki ready for once uh, one does spawn or once we find one. There we go, it's knocked out. That was actually really fast. I didn't know it was that fast to knock them out. Anyway, here's the stats. Oh my god, that's fucking awful. 170 damage. That's really bad. Where did all the stats go? I'm confused. Anyway, it's knocked out. Check what how long it'll take to tame up. And uh, yeah, I'll cut back once it's tamed up again. And then we can look at the stats. Um, but I don't think it's going to be very good. Anyway, see you guys then. Alright, so next on the agenda is, I think the main issue we're dealing with now is paste. Uh, well, aside from metal, metal farming of course, uh, but I can't really fix that because we're just waiting on the quest to spawn and for us to find one. So, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start on the greenhouse and I'm going to, go, I'm going to show you guys the um, stacking method that we're going to be using. It's really, really good. Uh, you don't need to have a huge green room, you can just have a, you know, a 2x1 or 2x2, two two, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, we're going to start on this design now. I think we have enough paste to m and metal to make the um, the room. Uh, but we need crystal for the greenhouse ceilings. Anyway, no matter, we'll get that sorted and I'll cut back once we start the building. Alright, let's get this greenhouse build underway. I think we have crafted everything that we need. Hopefully. Um, is that everything? I think it is. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, this is going to be the outline for the green room, greenhouse, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to be stacking the crop plots. I want to show you guys this method. It's fucking insane. It's really good for saving room. You don't need a huge greenhouse anymore. You can just stack your, green, uh, your crop plots on top of each other. They all get the greenhouse effect and they all work as well. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first off, we're going to start off by using a ladder. Just like so to get the straight snap point and then we just walk over here and basically you just want to get it as close as possible in the corner or else you won't be able to fit two next to each other so let's get this one down this might take a while for you just because you don't want to lose any room So just keep tapping away. I think that should be fine there. So let's chuck that down. Now let's try another one here. And it should be enough room. Is that going to be enough room? Let's find out. Place that down. Excellent. Beautiful. So, we've got those done right. Now, as you can see, if I put it on the normal, on the normal uh, snap point here, it actually won't snap. It will say that's obstructed. So, what you do is you just pull it out to the next one. So, on the actually on the next foundation, and that will let you place it there. So easy. Beautiful. Alright, so once you have the first two placed down and your wall snaps in perfectly on this side, what you want to do is you want to take a few steps back like so. So, you just have your crop plot out, take a few steps back and look above the crop plot and it should turn green eventually once you're in the right position, like so. Beautiful. So, the next step is now is you just want to line it up so that it's, perf it's as tight as possible in the corner and then it will be aligned 
to the crop plot on the bottom like so it should go green I think that's pretty good right there so once you've got it lined up chuck it down and just keep going just like that awesome ah that's perfect beautiful now on to the next one so same thing again take a few steps back look above it wait till it turns green just like that beautiful and now you just want to line it up you really want to make sure it's as tight as possible to uh, the right side just because we're trying to place another wall there so I want to get it over as much as possible and since we know the bottom two are fine we just want to make sure that the rest of them line up with those perfectly so that wall will place so let's just do this here I think that should be fine there let's try it out there we go go oh that's a bit over but it might be fine yes it's fine beautiful perfect so here we go I'll just show you guys just so you know there you go beautiful that's how you stack your crop plots and as you can see you can access all of them just like that easy all right now let's get on to the rest of the build all right there we go got the walls all done now we're going to chuck up the greenhouse ceilings and you pretty much, I think you can get away with just two uh, greenhouse ceilings to be honest. Just above here, I think those give the greenhouse effect. Um, but I go with four anyway because we're going to be chucking up a uh, giant hatch frame and then a hatch uh, trap door on that. Um, so that's why I use four. And then I'm going to chuck these ceilings here just like that and I think they'll give it the greenhouse effect yeah 60% and then we've got these three cages here gonna chuck them here on this side this is gonna be for the dung beetles beautiful alright that's that done so there you go you got your three cages for your dung beetles you got your stacked crop plots here greenhouse roof and then we're going to come outside to secure this so people just can't see spin in with their pteranodons or you know whatever going to land up here chuck down a hatch frame i'm going to make sure it clips to the right place or else it's going to look ugly as shit I think that's the right place that's definitely not over one I think that's it there yellow did we place it right yes we did now obviously on this side here is the walls gonna be out a bit more just because we put it on a different snap point um, but whatever you can't really see it anyway and then here we're just gonna chuck down the giant trap door and voila, we have a secure greenhouse. Just like that. Beautiful. Alright, there we go. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this build. I really liked it actually. So next we're going to attempt to raid a tribe that's been fucking with us today. I wasn't actually online to deal with their shit. But apparently uh, they killed a bunch of our tames. And some other stuff as well. So I don't think it is airlocked. Because... If you come can't over see. here, you can yeah, see these poor, uh, mortar and pestles, they go through the wall. Like, right. they go through the second part. Should we go in through the door? Yeah, YOLO. Fucking must Fuck do it. it. We got this C4 for free from drops yeah. anyway. Let me just move the bird a little bit. Oh. Oh, nice. We're in. Awesome. What have we got? Fabricator 9 paste. Fucking serious. One of these is Smithy. Oh, Smithy, here we go. Detonator 7 pace. Fuck me. 
Uh, MC pick. Let's get a clown mask. I'll take that. Oh, another smoothie upstairs. Another two. Oh, nice. Oh, one black pearl. No pace though. Where's the fucking pace? Sit in their other base. Is this refertilizer? What the fuck? That regrows trees because I chopped down their trees. Oh. To actually build some. Oh, you missed a long neck mass craft hatchet. Yeah, I was straight up looking for pace. That's it. <laughs> that was a bunch of fucking metal. One grenade. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'll take that. I got the C4 Obsidian. there. Obsidian. Some crystal. Fucking Bosch. Fucking oh, fucking bunch of gunpowder. Beautiful. Just yeah, made back the C4. I'm just loading them up with all the uh, all the stuff we don't want. Some good guys. Take these Pteranodon saddles. We don't want any stone, yeah? I'll give it to them. Yeah. 42 armor stego saddle. Yeah, we'll use that at a later date. Luckily we brought Argies, we can take all this metal with us. Yeah. Do we need any of this other shit? These are the guys that try to tame my fucking berry, yeah? Yeah, and then they, uh, they killed our Argy in the taming pen. Shurakai did, or whatever his name is. Can't. What do you reckon they have in this other building? I think it's their Fiomia. I'm not sure, we could always go check. Did you grab the obsidian out of there? Yeah. We could always make C4 and check. Yeah, must be like a personal base or some shit. Cementing paste storage, maybe? <laughs> How do you live next to Hidden Lake and have no fucking pace? No fucking Storing it in your fucking dairy? Possibly, actually. Like, <laughs> I would. Alright, pretty profitable raid for 2C4. Got a bunch of metal. Uh, a bunch of gunpowder, uh, 100 obsidian, and some other stuff as well, so... Uh, I think we got a detonator as well, so really good. We're gonna um, go back to base, make up another couple C4 and blow into the other building. Alright, got two more C4. Round two. What's in the box? Oh, boxes. storage boxes. Forges. Heaps of charcoal. Oh, blueprints. What blueprints do we have? 62 armor journeyman stego saddle blueprint. I'll fucking take that. Holy shit. Such a nice raider today. Picking up all their loot for him. Yeah, you're a good guy. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna load up my RG with fucking charcoal and narcotics. Do we need narcotics? It's better with us than with them. Shall we paint their building? Do they have a paintbrush? Um, not sure, they have paints. Oh, bench and a chair. I'm gonna take those. Alright, let's make a paintbrush. Yeah, that's what I just did. Do you want one? I got two. Yeah, chuck us a paintbrush. Thank you. Did you grab the paints? A sum, I think there's some in another box. Let's paint this dude. Um, what are we gonna do? Let's paint on his back. Let's paint a big dick. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, Dig back.
I'm actually pretty proud of this. This looks really nice. Good work. All right, we're good to go. Yeah, this looks really nice. All right, there we go. Pretty profitable raid. We used four C4 and we got a bunch of shit. We got some guns, some blueprints, some saddles, a bunch of narcotics, bunch of charcoal. Got about 1K gunpowder. We got a detonator and some other stuff as well. So yeah, we're going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found the greenhouse build informative and I hope you found the uh, raid enjoyable as well. I was struggling to stay awake. It was really late when we pulled off that raid. So yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, stay fucking awesome and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.